So today we have a nice problem related to the floor functions. We have to find all the possible values of x that will satisfy a equation that is floor value of x plus 1 plus floor value of 2x plus 2 equals to 13. So this is Anmol and now let us see the solution. How can we solve this problem? So first of all we can see that in this problem we are dealing with the floor functions. So let us recall the definition. So if we take the floor value of x equals to some variable a. So here two things are there. First of all a is a perfect integer that is the greatest integer smaller than or equal to the value of x. For example floor value of 2.2 would be equals to 2. Floor value of 4.3 would be equals to 4. You can see that 2 is the greatest integer that is smaller than 2.2. And the floor value of an integer is the integer itself. Floor value of 2 would be simply 2. Okay. So this for the positive case. And this thing even works for the negative ones. Suppose we have to find the floor value of negative 4.2. So this thing would be negative 5 not negative 4. Because in negative we know that negative 4 is greater than negative 5. And negative 4.2 will lie between these two numbers. And negative 5 is smaller than that one. So as per the definition that works. Okay. Now if floor value of x is equals to a where a being an integer compulsory it will always be an integer now to satisfy this equation the value of x must be greater than or equals to a and smaller than a plus 1 for this range of x the floor value of x will always come equals to a okay this is the basic definition to define a floor function so let me write floor function okay now there is an identity related to the floor function that is Floor value of x plus n would be equals to floor value of x plus n only and only when n is an integer. Okay. So in this equation, the first term is the floor value of x plus 1. Now in this particular term, we can use the above identity because 1 is an integer. So this thing can be written as floor value of x plus 1. Similarly, the second term is floor value of 2x plus 2. So using the same identity, we will get this thing equals to floor value of 2 times x plus 2 okay and note this thing that floor value of 2x is not equals to 2 times the floor value of x let us see why this is not true suppose we take x equals to 2.5 so the floor value of 2 times 2.5 so 2 times 2.5 becomes 5 therefore floor value of 5 is simply 5 okay now if we just put in this one so 2 times the floor value of 2.5 floor value of 2.5 would be 2 so 2 into 2 is equals to 4. So we can clearly see that these two things are not equal. Okay. So I'm just removing this explanation part from here. Okay. So now in the left hand side of the equation, the first term has turned out to be floor value of x plus 1 plus the second term that is floor value of 2x plus 2 and this thing is equals to 13. Now 1 plus 2 is equals to 3 simplified with 13 gives me 10. So floor value of x plus floor value of 2x is equals to 10 this is the new equation okay now let us simplify this thing and to do so we'll simply substitute floor value of x equals to some variable y okay now as per the definition if floor value of x is equals to y x will be greater than or equals to y and smaller than y plus 1 okay now let us replace floor value of x equals to y in this equation so we will get y plus floor value of 2x equals to 10 from this we will get the floor value of 2x equals to 10 minus y now as y is an integer 10 minus y is also an integer so here we can see that floor value of 2x is equals to some integer therefore as per the definition of the flow function this term 2x will be greater than or equals to the integer 10 minus y and smaller than 10 minus y plus 1 now 10 minus y plus 1 simply turns out to be 11 minus y. Now we can simply divide 2 in all these terms. So the final equation we will get is x greater than or equals to 10 minus y upon 2 and smaller than 11 minus y upon 2. Okay, this is the second equality we have got. Now why I am calling it the second inequality because this is the first one. Okay, now in both of this inequality we can see that range of x is given that it is smaller than this greater than that okay so using this let us solve this thing further so from the first one we can see that x is greater than y and in the second one we can see that x is smaller than 11 minus y upon 2 
so this ultimately means that y is going to be smaller than 11 minus y upon 2 because x is greater than this and x is smaller than this this ultimately means y is smaller than 11 minus y upon 2 simplifying this thing further will give me the value of y that is going to be smaller than 11 upon 3 okay now look in the second equation we have that x is greater than or equals to 10 minus y upon 2 and from the first equation we have x is smaller than y plus 1 upon 2 so this simply means that 10 minus y upon 2 is going to be smaller than y plus 1 okay because x is greater than this smaller than this this means this one is going to be greater than that one now let us simplify this thing so 10 minus y would be smaller than 2y plus 2 so finally we will get the value of y greater than 8 upon 3 okay now finally combining this to inequality we can say that y is greater than 8 upon 3 and smaller than 11 upon 3 okay so here we have got the range in which y will lie okay now recall that floor value of x was taken as y and we know that floor value always give an output that is an integer this means y is an integer so as we have got y is an integer we can clearly say that all the integers that lie between 8 upon 3 and 11 upon 3 are the values of y now if we just simplify 8 upon 3 it is going to be 2.66 and that is smaller than y and y is smaller than 11 upon 3 that is going to be 3.66 now between these two numbers the only integer present is 3 so we can say that y is equals to 3 because we have the criteria that y should be an integer and the only integer between these two range is 3 so here we have got the value of y that is 3 now let us put this value in first and second inequality in order to get the value of x so in the first inequality if we replace y equals to 3 we will get x is greater than or equals to 3 and smaller than 4 in the second inequality if we replace y equals to 3 we will get x is greater than or equals to 7 upon 2 and smaller than 11 minus 3 upon 2 that is 8 upon 2 that is 4 so here we can see that we have got two ranges for x the first one says that x should be greater than or equals to 3 smaller than 4 the second one says that x should be greater than or equals to 7 upon 2 and smaller than 4 now which one to take in consideration so for that we will simply find the intersection of these two so the first one says that x belongs to including 3 and not including 4 the second one says that x belongs to 7 upon 2 that is 3.5 so including 3.5 and not including 4 now to get the final solution for x i will simply find the intersection of these two sets so intersection of these two sets will give me including 3.5 and not including 4 is the value of x and that's the answer that we were looking for so this was my way to solve this particular problem if you have any other method other than this or else if you have any other question that you think i should try you can do comment below and if it's hard to comment you can email me or else you can send it to me on my instagram the link is in the description